Welcome back guys to another video here on the channel. Today we are going to be feeding the Copperhead. This is the Achistrodon Contortrix. And this is a venomous pit viper native to North America. And this snake typically ranges between 24 to 36 inches. And for those of y'all that's on the old metric system, that's about 61 to 91 centimeters in length. So they have a distinct pattern of alternating light and dark bands along their body. Their background color can vary from pinkish tan to coppery red, giving them their name. Their head is distinctly triangular with a coppery colored top and distinct facial pits, which are their heat sensing organs because, like I said, they are from the pit viper family, which includes all your rattlesnakes and the water moccasins and copperheads. So, with that being said, the water moccasin is probably the closest related snake to this snake here, and that is the Echistrodon pisivorus. So these snakes are so closely related, they can actually interbreed and make something that's called a cotton head, which is not a natural hybrid that comes in the wood in, in the wild, but this is something that has happened in breeding and stuff at people's homes and things that's came out with this hybrid. But super awesome snake nonetheless. These snakes are found in a variety of habitats, including forests, woodlands, swamps, and rocky areas throughout the eastern and central United States. So I put a little map here on the right side of the screen so that way you guys can check it on out, get a good picture of where these snakes come from. And there used to be a lot more different species of copperheads. Right now, there's only two. I can put some information in here about that a little bit later on, maybe during the time lapse or something, where it tells you a little bit more about the different species of copperheads that once were. Or I can just put this little picture. I got a little picture here I can throw on the screen right here. That'll give you a little idea. But I'll show you some more information about that, like I said, in a little while. They are generally solitary and compressible, meaning that they're most active during the dawn and dusk. Copperheads are ambush predators lying in wait for their prey to pass by. Their diet primarily consists of rodents, amphibians, insects, and other small vertebrates. And copperheads possess a venom that is hematoxic, meaning it primarily affects your blood and tissues. But their bite is painful and can be dangerous but your fatalities are rare and medical treatment is crucial if bitten they are ovoviviparous meaning that these snakes give live birth and they have a gestation period where they keep their eggs internally and then they incubate them there and then they poop them all out as live little babies and they can have around three to ten for their offspring the other cool thing about this snake is they're asexual reproducers meaning that they do not need a male present to actually give birth. So if you have a female copperhead, this is definitely a case of what, something that could happen. So something to consider if you ever think about getting one of these species. They're often confused with some other snakes uh, like water moccasins, rattlesnakes, and other non-venomous species of snake like your milk snake and your corn snake and other things. But remember, if you encounter a copperhead snake in the wild, it's important to keep your distance and not provoke or handle it, as they can deliver a venomous bite and if they feel if these snakes feel threatened. So make sure you guys are always on top of that and make sure to leave all the handling of these snakes to me. And just enjoy these videos, man. Don't go out here messing with these snakes, man, because next thing you know, you're gonna end up like you're gonna end up dead, man, or hurt pretty bad. But I'm pretty safe, I think, when it comes to the, to the venomous snake handling and all that. I don't really do nothing too crazy. Whew. He's definitely... Popped him with something. I'm trying to get up in here for you guys, man, so you can see it real good. Whew. He bit him again. The mama snake always is on point with it man she don't be playing around with them she go ahead and light them on up whoo
so it don't last long with her, man. You see her mouth, friend. He's like way over there. So now we just gotta wait for her to go over there and go find him. She's gonna eat him on up. Pretty sure he ain't gonna last too much longer. You see, it's right there on. Now she's where my food at? Hungry. She's looking like she's gonna be giving birth soon. She's getting a little thick again compared to my male one over here. So maybe we can get us some more copperhead babies soon, man. Then I'll start selling some once we get another clutch coming soon. Might be next year. You never know. She might just be wanting to wait another year before she really start having babies. 